What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fly sign tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a little Eurofly. This right here is PF's Paradigm. So I'm going to get a fresh hook in the vise and we'll get going with this tutorial. So the hook we have in the vise right now is our Fly Fiend Competition Fly Hook. This is our FF350N. This is our Nymph hook. Um, this one right here is in a size 14. And I have that paired up with a Fly Fiend slotted tungsten bead in copper. And this is a 3 millimeter. I like to oversize my beads on this pattern, uh, mainly because I'm going to be fishing this in uh, pocket water as well as some fast, uh, short um, riffles. So I want this fly to get down as quick as it can. Um, one, so I can fish more of that pocket or more of that riffle, as well as it's going to get down quicker so I can get in front of these fish's faces and have more of a chance of uh, hooking up with a fish. The thread we're going to be using is just some UTC 70 denier. Um, this color right here is flore fluorescent charisse. And I'm going to start my thread right behind this bead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this bead so it's offset on the shank. So with these slotted tungsten beads, um, you can easily offset them on a nymph hook. And I've been doing this lately. And... Um, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, one of the main advantages of doing this, rather than just a, a regular round bead, is um, it's gonna offset this fly. So it's gonna turn it, well, help turn it in the uh, water so it almost rides like a jig. As well as, by offsetting this bead on this hook shank, you're gonna have more of a hook gap right here to hook fish rather than the bead being uh, centered on this hook shank, it takes away from that hook gap. So this just helps open up that hook gap um, just a little bit more. Um, so uh, the odds are in your favor. So I'm gonna take this thread back to about where the hook barb would be. And we're gonna be tying in our first material, which is some Coque de Lyon. This is a uh, light speckled. And I'm just gonna get roughly three to four fibers here. I'm not gonna get much more than that. Try to aim around three or four, since mayflies don't have um, a lot of tails. So I'm just going to keep these straight, pull them off the stem, and we're gonna tie in a tail about as long as the body. So I'm just going to tie these in. I can kind of pull this to length. And you want to keep these fibers right on top of that hook shank. You want those tailing fibers to be coming right off the back of that hook right in the center. So I'm just going to cut out those butt sections there. Our next material we're going to be tying in is our little hot spot butt section here. And we're going to be using some UTC Ultra Wire. This is a small and this is a fluorescent pink. And I'm going to get about four to six inch piece here, which will make a bunch of flies. What I like to do is actually just grab the wire and I'm going to stick it in the back of this slotted tungsten bead. That's just gonna help it from not rolling on me. And I'm gonna take that down all the way back to where I tied my tails in. Now I'm just gonna grab this wire, start making some wraps. And I like to make about five. Five wraps is plenty. Now you can change out the color of this um, if you want to put chartreuse or gold or silver, um, the color combos are pretty endless. Now I'm just going to bring my thread back and tie off this wire nice and tight. Then I can just helicopter this wire out now. Just like so. Now for our ribbing, we're gonna be using some crystal flash. 
This right here is dark purple. And I'm just gonna grab one strand. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did with the wire. So I'm just gonna stick this in the back of this bead. Then bring this down to where my wire ended. Now I'm just gonna build up this body a bit. Since the wire is was sitting on my original thread base, it's gonna be propped up a bit. So now I have brought my thread up to the same level as the, um, as the thread right there. Now we're just gonna grab this crystal flash and we're just gonna make some open spiral wraps creating a nice little segmented body. So once we get up to behind the back of that bead, you can just capture that, come in and cut out that little tag end. Now at this point, you can just grab your whip finish tool and throw in a nice four or five turn whip finish. Just cut out your thread. Now at this point, we're just going to add our little wing pad here. And all I'm going to be using is just some black nail polish. So I'm just going to shake this up a bit. Then I'm going to get a nice little, you don't want to, it's really easy to over, over clump this. If that's even a word. Um, you just want a little bit of a, uh, of this nail polish dripping off the end here. Just like so. So you can see there, get your nice little wing pad. Now I'm just gonna let this dry, then I'll come back once it's dry and I'll show you how I UV cure coat it. So once your wing pad is dry, um, I like to get just a little bit of Loon Outdoors. This is the um, the thin. And I like to use this little applicator um, brush because it's super easy and most of my flies um, are pretty small. So I can just uh, kind of just put it on just like so. And you just want to co coat this whole body and the pad. So this adds a little bit more durability to the whole fly. Now you can just grab your light, just hit this for about 10 to 15 seconds, then you'll be good to fish. Uh, you can also add a fluorescing flow over top of this. Um, if you like using that. But uh, if you just have the regular thin, uh, you can just use that. So this is actually a really easy pattern to, uh, to tie. Um, I kind of came up with this idea just mainly because I wanted to still tie Paragon nymphs, but uh, kind of change it up a bit. And um, adding this little wire um, I really like it. So I just put a little bit of the um, fluorescing flow on here. As you can see, it's just popping that much more. And now it's uh, all hard and uh, ready to catch some fish. So if you've never uh, tied these types of flies before and um, Euro Nymph, or even you, you can fish these under a uh, indicator. Um, they're awesome little flies. I mean, I fish a lot of pocket water, so that's why I like tying them a lot um, because they're gonna get down so quick. They don't have any hackle, no legs. Um, it's just pretty much a little resin pellet going down through the water. So it's, uh, it's gonna cut water really fast 
as well with this uh, tungsten bead. Um, you're going to get right down in the fish's faces uh, super fast, um, even in those really fast riffles. So uh, tie a couple up. Uh, let me know how you do with them. If you like today's video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the materials or the fly itself, you can drop that down in the comment section. Uh, to see all the materials I used in this fly, you can check that in the description. I'll leave the uh, recipe there. Um, if you want to check out the bead or the hook, uh, you can check out theflyfiend.com. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.